Hello, welcome to TypeScript Basics. In this part, we are going to look at iterable and iterator. ES6 or ECMAScript 2015 introduced iterable and iterator protocol. Let's get some terminologies cleared up before looking at why we need iterable and iterators and how to use them. The first one is enumeration. Okay, what is enumeration? It is a process of reading all the values from a data structure or something that produces data. For example, if we have an array with values 1 to 5, then enumeration is reading all the values one by one. Another example is a function that returns next value of Fibonacci series. Okay, next terminology is iteration. Iteration is doing something repeatedly. So enumeration is special type of iteration. Coming back to iterable and iterator, an iterable is an object that wants to make its values accessible in a particular way. The default form of iterable is enumeration, that is, it lists all of its values one by one. Iterable implements a factory method that returns iterator. An iterator is a pointer for getting next value from the data structure. Okay, now we know what is iterable and iterator is, but why we need them? Well, it is to standardize how data consumers access data from data producers. If all the data producers, also known as data sources, use different way to expose the data they have, then it will be impossible for data consumers to support all the data sources. But if all the data sources implement one protocol to expose data, then it is much easier for data consumers to consume them. That protocol is iterable. Okay, now let's look at some examples of iterable. At the time of recording, array, string, map, and set are iterable types when targeting ES6. Far off is one of the constructs that knows how to consume data from iterable. Spread operator, array destructuring, array.form method are some of the other constructs that knows how to get data from iterables. When using one of these constructs to read data from iterable, it invokes iterator factory method to get an instance of the iterator and uses it to get the values. Okay, now let's look at an example of iterable. We'll use array for our example. I have VS code open here. And in the tsconfig.json, I have set my target to ES6. And in the main.ts, I'm going to uh, create an array. Uh, let's call this array uh, numbers. So this is going to have value one to five. And uh, now because array is iterable, I can use for of loop to get each item from the beginning till end. So let's use for of. We say for let value of numbers. So we are basically going to get one value at a time from numbers array and we are going to print that here. So if I run this, you'll see values one to five printed on the console. As you can see here, it has printed values one to five. So how do we say array is iterable? So we say array is iterable because it implements the factory method that returns iterator. So let's see what it is actually. So we know number is an array. So let me remove this. So within this numbers, we will have factory method named symbol dot iterator. So if we print this, it should say it is a function that is, it should be defined. As you can see here, it says it is a function. So we know that this array defined the symbol dot iterator factory function. So when we call this function, it should return an iterator. So let's call this function and see what it returns. So I'm going to print this iterator. If we print this, it should print that it is an iterator. As you can see here, it shows that this variable has an iterator in it. So what is iterator? Iterator is basically an object that has next method in it. So when we call next method on the iterator, it should return next value from the sequence, in this case from this array. So if I try to print iterator.next, it should return one. As you can see here, it returns something called iterator result, so which will have properties in them. One of them is value, which is the actual value. And the second one is a flag to indicate whether the iterator has reached its end or not. In this case, it returns false, which means we have more item to retrieve. So if I call console.log iterator.next again, it will return next element from the array. 
So if I run this, I should see one and two printed on my console. As you can see here, it returns one and two. If I put this iterator dot next five times or six times, it will print all the values from one to five with done set to false. But for the last one, the value will be null and done will be set to true. As you can see here, it has printed values from one to five. And for the last one, it returned value as undefined. Sorry, I said null, it returns uh, values undefined. And then done is set to true, which means it, uh, like we have reached the end of the iterator. This is an iterator. One of the feature of array iterator or almost all default iterator is that you can actually pause and continue. What I mean by that is you can create an iterator you can actually start processing it and then you can actually pause it for some time then later you can actually resume it so let's let's simulate how it works i'm going to create a for of loop with uh, with this iterator that we have so i'm going to say iterator what i'm going to do is i'm going to print the first value but then i'm going to break from this loop so what i'm basically doing here is i'm just going to retrieve first value from this iterator and i'm breaking from this loop then what i'm going to do i'm going to use the same iterator and then i'm going to continue with printing rest of the values and between these two loops i'm going to add a console.log to separate the results so i'm just going to say this is continuation so if i run this i'm expecting to see one printed on the console then this text continuation then values from 2 to 5 on my console as you can see here it has printed value 1 and then this text continuation and then 2 to 5 this proves that this iterator that we have retrieved from this numbers array can be paused and resumed so that's what we have done here you might ask how it is possible to use iterator in a for of loop because previously we have seen that only iterable can be used in for of loop. The trick here is when you call the symbol.iterator function in array, it returns something called iterable iterator, which is basically both iterable and iterator. So whatever we have in this variable called iterator is not just iterator, it is iterable as well. As I hover over here, you can see that it is actually iterable iterator one of the thing that this iterable iterator does says within iterable we have the symbol dot iterator factory method and that factory method actually returns itself i mean like that that factory method actually returns the current object itself as its iterator so let me show you what i mean we know that this iterator is iterable iterator because this is iterable as well it will have the symbol dot iterator factory function defined so this will return another iterator basically but what happens here is this iterator and this another iterator are basically same object so if i say console.log iterator is equal to another iterator then it will return true as you can see here it returns true so basically when you call the symbol dot iterator factory method from numbers array it is going to return something called iterable iterator and that iterable iterator itself will have symbol dot iterator factory method defined and when you call that it's going to return the original iterable iterator itself it's not going to create new iterable iterator so this is why we can actually pause and continue the shape of iterable iterator and iterable iterator are defined in the form of interface in typescript Let's see how those interfaces look like. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type array and then uh, press F12 to go to the definition of it. So it opens this um, type definition file. I'm just going to close this. I'm going to search for something called iterable. So now I have reached this iterable iterator. So as you can see here, we have iterable. Iterable has this factory method and uh, that factory method returns iterator and this is the shape of iterator so we have next method and two other optional methods the first one is return and the second one is throw so return is basically used to do any cleanup activities when the iterator has completed prematurely and throw is used especially when we use generators we'll see how we can use throw when we look at generators and then we have iterable iterator so iterable iterator is basically extension of iterator and uh, it basically overwrites the symbol dot iterator comes from the iterator 
so basically instead of returning iterator from the factory method the overwritten version returns iterable iterator that's it for now hope this video is useful i'll see you in the next video thank you